In this video, I'll be telling you guys which player to take from Season 7 Limited and NBA 2K22, my team. As you guys can see, the two options here are going to be Dark Matter OG Ananobi and Dark Matter Boban Marjanovic. Let's just start with Boban here. He is going to be a center power forward, 7 foot 4 tall with a 7 foot 8 wingspan. The fact that he can play the power forward position is going to be super overpowered. Looking at his stats here, he's going to have a 94 three ball, 89 mid range, 83 speed. And then he's obviously going to have really good defensive stats. I think the 83 speed is actually pretty good for Boban. I do apologize, guys, for the ads in the right. Not sure why 2KDB has so many ads, but defensively, this Boban card is going to be amazing. Great rebounder as well. I do want to see his jump shot and his animations. Set shot too. If you guys know what this jump shot is in the comment section down below, I don't think it's a good jump shot though because Boban and Simbular have it. So I don't think it's going to be a good jump shot. Only has a shifty dribble style, but honestly, that's going to be fine for Boban. So if you guys are looking for a really good free power forward or center card, like maybe you want to have someone off the bench to match up against guys like Taco or Yao Ming or Manu Bull. So if you guys grind and limited and you struggle against Tacos, Yao Mings and Manu Bulls, might not be a terrible idea to go ahead and get this Boban Marjanovic. But now let's look at the other option and let's look at this free Dark Matter OG Ananobi. He's a small forward shooting guard, six foot seven with a seven foot two wingspan. It is nice that he can play the shooting guard position. Looking at his stats here, he's going to pretty much be like an invincible 96 three ball, 96 speed, 96 acceleration. He's going to have perfect defensive stats. He's going to be an amazing defender in game, just like obviously he is in real life. He's also got a 95 driving dunk, 86 ball handle with a 93 speed with ball. He's got 45 Hall of Fame badges, which is insane. He's got tons of good Hall of Fame defensive playmaking and shooting badges. Now, the big thing is when we come to the animations, what jump shot and what are his dribble six looking like? Okay, base 76. Not exactly sure how this is going to look in game. He's got the normal leaner. He's got the quick dribble style. He's got some pretty decent sigs. So to answer the question of the video, who should you guys be taking between OG and Boban Marjanovic? I think OG is going to be objectively the better card. But if you guys need like a free center, if you guys don't have Taco, don't have a uh, Yao Ming, and you need a free center to match up against the Tacos and the Yaos, then Boban is probably going to be your pick. But I think the better card overall is going to be OG and Nobi, and he'll be amazing at the shooting guard position. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below who are you guys going to take from Limited in Season 7 and NBA 2K22, my team. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.